everyone. Welcome back to Newbie Star Trek. The Star Trek where Ricardo's horned up. Yes. He's dude. very horned for this episode. Angel this episode. One. By the way, if you guys have been liking the episode you're listening to so far, if you could go to Apple Podcasts and give us a review, that'd be sick. Because that really helps with our Look, whatever. if you don't like this podcast, give us a bad rating. We don't give a shit. It still yeah, counts. it still helps. Yeah. Just do it. Hey. Let us, let us know what you think. Listen to Picard and engage. <laughs> yeah. Eh? I don't know why, but that, eh? direct, that, that immediately reminded me of the stupid X-Play. Anyone remember X-Play? Barely. The, the I, show I, on G4 TV yeah, before, yeah. before tech TV, uh, they had they did skits, and one of the skits was literally some some chunky guy who would pretend to be Picard, and they just had him just because there was a, a shitty phone slash console called the Engage. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> they just brought him in just to say Engage. It was Nokia's <laughs> finest it. work. Yeah, that was it. It had pandemonium on it. I don't even know what was on it, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> That's pretty much all I know was on it. <laughs> <laughs> is was is pandemonium a game about pandas no if i remember it had like a jester prominently featured on the cover i don't know how it played then why then why would you call it pandemonium well, okay what would you rather have a nokia engage or a, or a tiger game.com i don't even know what a tiger game.com is it is a what? system that has the most interesting port of resident evil 2 ever that makes me want it more automatically. All right, then you want a game.com. All right, we did we settled. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to this episode of Newbie Star Trek. Uh the the game.com episode. <laughs> anyway, Angel One, sexy time episode. Again. Hell yeah. This episode Star Trek loves the sexy. Yeah. Uh, it sells. Yeah. You know? Sexy planet with flowery decor. Yeah. Just put flowers yeah. in it. There's yeah. sex around. This sexy episode debuted on January 25th, 1988. Dan, what was what sexy things were happening during this sexy time? Noted sex icon Mike Tyson had just successfully <laughs> sexually defended his sexy heavyweight boxing championship title from sexy Larry Holmes in Atlantic City. He won by a sexy tech knockout in uh, round four. Um, <laughs> the sex out. Yeah. <laughs> the world Technical re- sex out. And the world wrestling <laughs> sexuration had just had its first royal sex rumble the night before on the Ooh. 24th, um, which was won by Jim Duggan. He was the first sexy winner of the Royal Rumble, of the very first Royal Rumble. So, yeah, wrestling history. And uh, four days from from then, on the 29th, the very first commercial versions of Tetris would release on IBM and Commodore 64 in North America. Right. Whereas that's not that's not the the Alex the Alexi version, right? Like they actually acquired it and decided to make their own version. I forget all of the intricacies of that. But if uh, if, if that complication intrigues you, uh, I wholeheartedly suggest and recommend uh, watching The Story of Tetris. It's a gaming historian video on YouTube. It's it's a great little Ken Burns style documentary into the very truly intriguing history of how Tetris was created and then marketed and ported and fought over in terms of rights and all that mm. other stuff. It, it's a very interesting story. In fact, it's so interesting that they're making a movie out of it. So maybe you could just wait for that. Yeah, I, that that it, that would actually end up being kind of interesting, just because the the real life guy, I forget his last name, but Alexi. Yeah, uh, something just, Nov at the end. Yeah, he's Pajinov. Was it Pajinov? Pajinov, maybe, I maybe I don't know. Yeah, and then uh, he's he's just this nice guy who just wants to make video games. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you are listening to us in Russia for whatever reason, but have yet. Yeah, some of you have. So thank you for listening to us. I don't know why. Yeah, so randomly we had a random spike of viewers from Russia. So or listeners, dude. Yeah, it's so cool. Random. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, It we get random spikes sometimes. Just 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 to go behind the scenes a little. Like we get random spike. You know, USA remains the the the, USA UK actually jockey for position. But um, you can't see jockey. You can't see jockey nowadays, dude. (laughs) Not in the current political climate, my man. What's wrong with jockeys? Get offended, dude. You got I am really so good. sick of these social you, jockey warriors <laughs> oh policing everything we say. So hard. I was like, "Is there a thing?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a uh, little afraid that it might be referring to like it'd be some sort of like weird. Um, uh, you you know, fucking wrecked me, dude. <laughs> I thought it would like get somehow related to little people because jockeys tend to be short. 
<laughs> and I, that's a stretch. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, well, where is this going? A, is it going there? It's a stretch and a half. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be because they're so small. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, dude. Uh, sea biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, they had to. They had to make. Uh, they made. They like made them look smaller using uh, CGI. Yeah. Not CGI, just just camera trickery. Yeah, yeah and they actually shrunk them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, for the role, he had. Yeah. To, he had to take these pills. It's like how yeah. they embiggened Ian McKellen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they shaved Tom McGuire's. It was way cheaper they... to just increase Ian McKellen's size than shrink everyone else. See, that's oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's more. That's way more economical. Yeah, yeah it's cost yeah. effective. Yeah. Peter yeah, Jackson yeah, ain't no ain't no fool. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean the the movies he made are shit, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, you, oh, you, Ricardo. Hello, you, I'm Ricardo, uh, notorious Hobbit hater. <laughs> Hey, that's the thing that everyone should agree with you on, though. Those yeah. movies, the Hobbit well, the movies, Hobbit, the Hobbit movies are oof. are so bad. The Lord of the Rings, dude, suck dude. in general, dude. All the rings, the Hobbit rings, the Lord rings. Every single one fuck of those it. movies, even the, had... even the movie The Ring. Fuck that movie. <laughs> I'm all right with the ring. No, wait, 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 wait. had no Be- hobbits in it, but still. Well, between the ring and Ringu, I I think I like Ringu. I haven't seen Ringu in a while, so I I don't have the mental comparison. Uh, to I've seen to- Rango. <laughs> that works too. The <laughs> uh, Johnny Depp's greatest horror movie, Rango. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, thank you for the recap, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel-san. So, Angel One, Ricardo. Yes. Uh, you, as always, you tend to love. These, I love these, sexy episodes, dude. Yeah, you, you, uh, you get into uh, it. They're sexy, and I love them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Angel One. I don't know what it's called, Angel One, but let's go with it. That's the name of the planet. <laughs> yeah, it's I all. guess so, but I don't know. Like, why is it called Angel One? It's just the first planet in the Angel system. That's all. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so the episode starts off, and we quickly realize that the space truckers uh, <laughs> were hit by an asteroid. Literally, yeah. And and they, yeah they call them literally. freighters, but yeah, they're, they're literally in actuality truckers. just a bunch of truckers. Yeah. <laughs> you're totally right. Hey, look, if your civilization makes it to space, you're going to need truckers. It literally, yeah. It's literally what you'll need, yeah. yeah. Heavy metal queens. I've always said this, and because uh, oh, I was thinking, like, well... Uh, these space truckers are gotta be deadbeat dads, dude. If they left their, <laughs> their kids at home, but uh, but I've always held this this thought, which is, and and not a lot of people will agree with me, mm-hmm. but astronauts are the biggest deadbeat fucking dads ever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> biggest. <dad. laughs> Hear me out. Wow, dude. hot takes on astronauts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I want to get away from my kids so much that I'm going <laughs> to risk my fucking life to get away for like a couple fucking weeks. Just don't have to deal with it. I don't even want to be in the same country, not the same state, not the same continent, not the same hemisphere. I want to get the fuck out of this world. Well, dude. some of those guys end up on that space station for like months and months. Yeah. Yeah. Years. Yeah. There's that one guy who lived on, on Mir for years. So there you Deadbeat. go. Deadbeat, dude. Um. So you have the space truckers, mm-hmm. and they're they're long overdue. They got hit, their ship got hit by a fucking asteroid, and some of the survivors made it to this planet called mm-hmm. Angel One. They're looking mm-hmm. for survivors of the Odin. So right. they're heading down there for a bit, and uh, they they're again they're going to send in in a way a crew, I guess. Right. And they say, hey, this planet, it's like how Earth used to be in its early years. <laughs> But guess which of it century being... it resembles. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, oh, hot dog! Um, <laughs> it, re- <laughs> it resembles this century. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Random um, Bobby Lee. Okay. Yeah, I fucking love Bobby Lee. Um, oh, so, <laughs> really? No. Oh my god! But but you like the fucking Hobbit movies? <laughs> god damn it, Dan! Yes, they're. <laughs> Wait, no, finally, don't paint me finally, that way. I don't like Hobbit we, movies. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so... Exactly God, the same. Yeah, We're getting derailed by Bobby Lee. <laughs> Fucking get out of here, Bobby Lee. Yeah. Get out of our podcast. <laughs> so um, so anyway, so they're, they're going to go down to look for the survivors of the Odin. And they say, hey, this planet, it used, it's kind of like Earth used to be back in the day. You know how like 
Earth was really fucking sexist and like men were really misogynist and they're real pieces of shit. And <laughs> at one point, like they couldn't, women couldn't vote and all that stuff. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Imagine that, but it's women that are in mm. charge in this planet. Wow. What uh, a twist. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> um, and so they're, they're like, okay, well, in that case, we should send Deanna Troy to be like our lead on this, on this away crew, you know, mm-hmm. she's going to take like point on, on this, on this mission. And so they send data, they send Riker, um, who else do they send? Troy and Troy Yara. and, Tasha. um, Tasha. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's kind of rounded out. There's two and two, two two men, two women, yeah. and then as they're going to the bridge, and they have this like gift that they're going to give the the mistress, which is mm-hmm. like the president or the queen of the of the world. Yeah, I think they call her the planet. elected one, mm-hmm. right? So they're making way, their way to the um, transporter room. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jason stayed. Yeah, Jason still stayed in there. He throws them down yeah. to the planet. Oi, mate! <laughs> fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Do <laughs> we got to get some fucking statham drops, dude? Um, <laughs> um and then and then so they they're, they're making their way to the transporter room and guess who shows up? Fucking old fucking Wesley dude, wearing a weird ass silver costume. <sighs> Again, causing yeah. everyone's problems in the episode. Yeah. yeah. Well, gr- granted, he, it's not necessarily his fault. Look at, look at, dude. Wesley is the cause of and solution and to cu- and solution to every one of the problems. Dude. <laughs> if they yeah. just killed him, everything would be fine. <laughs> there would be no show child. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So. Well, the so, re- but um, also, but the reason why Picard gets sick is because of Wesley he throws the fucking snowball. He's a fucking idiot. Well, here's the thing, Wesley. They, they, he would have gotten everybody sick anyway because it would have just like. I guess. It's true. Yeah, yeah. It, it's basically this episode is a Corona episode. Yeah, um, I was gonna say this is literally COVID. It's a yeah. respiratory illness. Wait, hold, hold on. Before we get too far into that, I do want to point <laughs> out something funny that I thought was great. Well, there's a moment early on in this episode where Data starts rattling off one of his signature, like overly specific counts of time, where it's like he just keeps oh. listing the numbers. And Riker tries to do the usual, like enough Data, but then Data just keeps talking. Yeah, it's like, yeah, bitch, yeah. as I was you know saying, gonna- three point four <laughs> seven five six seconds. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm sick of you telling me to stop. Yeah, this is yeah. who I am. I just want it. I you just needed another second, <laughs> and I would have finished. Yeah. yeah. So, so they they go to the transport room, and then at the same time, Wesley's going into the holodeck, and he's going to be doing like this. Um, he's going to be like skiing uh, for mm-hmm. some bitch ass reason, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and and so he goes in there with his friend and his classmates, and then the away team goes down to Old Angel One. And everyone's wearing these like weird like kimonos, kind of, but not really. They're weird outfits. Uh, I will say that like they're weird. Um, I have them down in my notes as ski chalet concubine men. <laughs> yes, the the men are the, the men are wearing weird. Yeah, but the women are like depending. So there's different ranks. So, like, so you have the security guards that have like these tiny little probes that I don't know how they work. Uh, those is that's the security team. They wear all gray and they have mm-hmm. these like little like. I almost want to say they're a little like, um, oh, damn, what's the thing that it's like a little trident, like a little mini, mini trident that you would put shrimp on and, <laughs> or like s'mores. Like a fork? <laughs> yeah, like a, well, it's like a long fork, like one you would use to put like s'mores on the fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like you put like a little sausage on it and yeah, you put it over yeah. open or fire. Sometimes yeah. you put fish on it and you let it like when you're camping, you put fish right, on it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Cook. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Like little tiny spears. Like for little people, and and uh, these women are the security team, and that's what they wield. It's weird little spears, and then the the men are are their exposed chest shirts mm-hmm. are beautiful, dude. They're they're <laughs> amazing, uh, and they wear the men wear like these weird earrings just on one ear, because yeah. um, they're like you can't wear them both, dude. Because you know what yeah. they say, uh, <laughs> and so they only wear them on one ear, and it's the too uh, erotic. I know too erotic. And all the women are wearing like this, these weird like geese kind of thing, like the 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 higher the higher rank. Well, one. true true to eighties, like uh, enhan- shoulder enhancements are a sign of female yeah, yeah. power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. shoulder pads just, um, used to be in vogue at the time. 
And yeah, boy, yeah. did they go to town on them shoulders. They're, they're like shoulder yeah. pads, but Asian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they're Asian inspired shoulder pads. Yeah. Uh, so they, they, I mean, they kind of look badass. They, they're, I, I dig them. And so they're like, hey, what are you fuckers here for? The mistress says. And they're like, hey, we're looking survive- for survivors of this thing called the Odin. It crashed a long time ago. We're finally looking into it. <laughs> <laughs> which is weird it's like it's been years yeah it's, it's like been, we're sorry yeah, we've yeah. neglected you for so long uh primitive civilization without warp technology the yeah, federation yeah. wishes to extend its greetings to you and they're like yeah. uh yeah. we don't need that yeah, yeah, yeah. again yeah. unclear why are we allowing to, to make contact with a, a, a society that doesn't seem to have warp technology yet and yeah, I wondered they about that. They, they do address it briefly in the episode later on, where I think Riker's talking to, uh, is it Briata? Is that the, her name? Briata. 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 And she's, and he's <laughs> like, well, we do still into like interact with these societies so that we may know more about them. We just don't. Except they don't. We just don't interfere <laughs> yeah. with their with their cultures or whatever. And it's like I don't know, man. This sounds really. We can we can fuck them. We just can't interact with. Them. Well, yeah, basically, yeah, like yeah. we have seen <laughs> in in previous episodes how they totally do this. You know, it, it this yeah. isn't new. Is what I'm saying. Right. No, the, no. The, they fuck them the, and they the, leave the, them. There's other episodes where they go so out of their way to make sure they don't even know they're there. <laughs> like all this yeah. other stuff. And, yeah, but and are so, they hot? Yeah, dude. Come on, bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> are God they? Damn it, dude. If we can um, fuck them, we'll make ourselves known. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And so, and so, they, uh, they, they're, they're talking to the Empress, and 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 she, and he's, and they're like, hey. Riker's doing the talking at this point. And he's like, hey, we're looking for the Odin survivors. And she's like, well, we've heard of fucking Starfleet. Don't don't fucking worry about that, bitches. He's like, but yeah, uh, this seems kind of petty. And he's like, we don't find the life of one of our people petty, you know? Yeah. And then she gets offended and she's like, oh, is this man implying that I put lesser value on life? <laughs> She's really like pissy about it. She's like, ah, yeah. fuck you. And so that, you at that took point, seven years to care. <laughs> I know, I know. <coughs> Excuse me. And then at that point, uh, Deanna Troy kind of takes over as like the speaker of the group. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and so they're like, hey, just be cool, man. We're looking for these fucking survivors, man. And <laughs> uh, and like, hey, we wanted to reunite them with their families, and and that's about it. And then this other girl in the back, like the second in command, she's like, hey, we're gonna take these bitches' word for it. Like that, they're gonna take them. They're not gonna do shit. And he's and she's like, ah, the Empress is like, good question, uh, good question. Another another question, good question is, um, if you find the survivors, like basically, she's like, hey, if you find the survivors, what are you gonna do with them? I'm like, hey, we're gonna fucking take them, dude. Mm-hmm. And so basically, that they, they it, it seems sketchy from the get go. Like, hey, yeah, oh, like this seems like something's going on. Like they don't like they why don't, why don't they want us to probe? And so they have all the the manservants are tiny, by the way. They're re- <laughs> really short dudes. I don't yeah. know if they breathe them breathe them this way or how do how does that work? Like I don't know how this planet works. Um, like are the women having children or are they like clones? Are they cloning them all? That I small? think I think I think it's just implied that uh just just women j- are just tall here and men are yeah. just short, and that's why the power dynamic turned out the way. It was. Yeah, and and then uh they they, they get sent to like these quarters while they, they, they think amongst themselves, these, these women. And so Tasha, uh, starts, uh, like scanning the room for like any bugs and stuff. And she's, I'm like, Oh, that's an old timey fucking like FBI shit, dude. (laughs) Um, but, uh, but I'm thinking like, what if, why can't they just hide a human there to just spy on them? (laughs) (laughs) This, the system would only catch like bugs, like actual, like technical or, or there's just a hole in the wall. (laughs) Yeah. 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 The the old uh, old portrait with the eyes. Yeah. The old portrait or the the old cup against the wall, the other side of the wall, you know? Yeah. Anything. Um, Or just standing on the other side of the door and just listening. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, and so uh, everyone's like, yeah, I feel sketchy, man. Um, it's weird that that they didn't want us to 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 just take these people. Like they're they're being weird. Like this is sketchy things going on here. And uh, and right away they should know. Fuck these people. Don't trust them. Like, <laughs> we we've, we've encountered this problem over and over again. But this episode, I dig what's going on because it gets sexy later on. So a uh, wharf and the captain now. Are, are are hanging out and they get they get some um, some info 
that these Romulan battle cruisers are, are, are yeah. have been detected near the really what? terrible B plot yeah. of this episode. Yeah, yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like every and so often they kind of like thought- lazily look over. It's like, Oh, they're still coming. Yeah. yeah. And the, 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 the- <laughs> yeah, it's literally <laughs> yeah. Yeah. how they keep track of it. Every, every 10 minutes they go back to a crew member and says, yep. Romulan's still on the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so which is weird. Like they're, they're just, they're close enough to where like they have to, go like intercept them the romulans but not close enough to like it's a weird thing like the, the, it's, it's a weird it's, contrivance to yeah. put a ticking clock element in the episode yeah. where which it is, doesn't need which one is fine yeah it doesn't yeah. need one but it's fine and yeah. then the uh captain and, and wharf are getting out of the elevator and fucking wesley hits the captain on the shoulder with an with an uh what is it? An ice ice ball, right? Fucking snowball. It's not just yeah. snowball. any snowball. It's yeah. a smelly snowball. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a yeah. snowball that Stinky gets shit. everyone in the in the ship fucking sick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's talk okay. about this. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about this. Because this. this is the worst part of the episode, and it's from the B plot, so it didn't need to exist. Right. So here we go. Why? Okay. There's so many things wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why would the holodeck be able to ever give anyone sickness? <laughs> Yep, and not yep. only that, like a sickness that isn't like already in the database with an identified like known cure. Like it's like yeah. a unique novel okay. virus. Okay. It's okay. For, okay. This, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. It's like, okay, the Danubian Alps are p- apparently well known enough to go on a skiing lesson. Yep. If they're well known enough, shouldn't we know what this virus is? And thus, shouldn't we have a cure already? It's a novel holonavirus. If... <laughs> And if we don't have a cure, why the fuck would we take a bunch uh, of children yeah. on a skiing ch- lesson on the holographic version of this? Well, granted, yeah. it was only so, those two. It was, they probably want yeah, to get true. rid of Wesley and whoever that stupid Asian kid was <laughs> who keeps looking Asian at the camera. <laughs> it's true. Um, he keeps fucking up. <laughs> he keeps looking at the camera. I'm, I'm surprised he wasn't fired by Tom Cruise. Um <laughs> And uh, so, so at this point, the, he's the captain goes, "What is that smell?" And then the wharf is like, "Oh, it's a very enticing smell. I remind me of blah 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 blah." And so I, I forget. Wharf is Romulan, right? Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. no. Wharf is a Klingon. 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 That's right. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Romulans I look sort of like evil or uh, they're evil Vulcans. Klingons. Evil Vulcans. <clears throat> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So at this point. Um, these are the things that we know about this thing. It travels through air. The the things that we will eventually learn too is that first of all, Wesley has lost his sense of smell because he can't smell the thing. <laughs> yeah. It's straight up COVID, dude. Straight yeah. up, dude. It's literally COVID. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. like uh, yeah. Beverly Crusher's first description of it is a respiratory illness. It is a yep. respiratory illness. Picard has trouble breathing. People lose their sense of smell. Yeah. It travels easily through the air. <laughs> yep. Yep. <clears throat> so anyway, um, but here's the thing uh, about this episode and, and this scene in particular is when th- he started smelling and like it, I, I knew that there was going to be some sort of like virus. I quickly realized that my, what, what my head went to was a lot smarter than what the episode turned out to be. But the first thing I thought about was like, oh, the fucking Romulans planted this virus. So when they show up, they're, the humans are weak. Mm, you know what I mean? Like that, that would have been that would have been a cool like B plot. Like, oh, there's there's like like a Romulan spy like snuck in to like the holodeck, put in this thing so they would get infected. Yeah, why else would the holodeck ever yes, do this? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> it just made no sense. But no, the holodeck made a virus that was gonna. And first of all, I hear the the holodeck made a virus. I go, there's there's some serious fucking AI. We like as yeah. soon as I hear. Okay, first of all, as soon as I heard someone got shot in the holodeck. Yeah, we need to just stop yeah. using the holodeck. Everyone gotta shut stop. down Skynet. Shut it down. Yeah. Now. To be fair, as like, soon as I Tyson. hear someone gave a virus from the holodeck. Yeah. Shut it down again. Like yeah. d- never again. Like find Miles Dyson and have him <laughs> fucking die. Blowing up that bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the chocolate you know? bar microchip into the lava. Yes, dude. <laughs> Give us the thumbs up that it's melted. Um, and so, so you have, um, oh, you have the B plot now, which is the this virus, and you. And they, we're back to the A plot, and we're back in the planet. And old uh, uh, tiny sexy man comes in. And he's like, "Hey, the Empress is ready to see you guys. Let's go." And then he, he there's this perfume that they have there. Yeah. And I thought it was gonna. I thought it was linked to the virus as well. 
Because they keep fucking putting perfume on themselves. And I'm like, oh. You're thinking too much. <laughs> I was thinking too much, dude. Too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's ton there this show is this the season uh this episode is filled with tons of Chekhov's guns that never go off. It's just all these yeah. things yeah. that you yeah. think should connect and then they never do. Um so the, they they bring him in and the Empress is like, Hey, do you promise to take all these fuckers, all these truckers, these dirty ass truckers? <laughs> You got to get them out of here. We don't want them here. We we want these truckers gone. They've given us problems. They were cool at first, and then they fucking didn't want to follow the rules. Dirty truckers with their dirty fucking boots. Uh, <laughs> we need them out of here. You promise us that you're going to take them, and we'll let you look for them. And she's like, and Deanna Troy is like, yes, we give you our word. We're going to take these dudes, and we'll, we'll, we'll be at it. We will be out of your hair. And and the mistress is like, okay, he's like, well, we voted. Uh, some of us voted, weren't sure about this vote, and they voted against it. But the majority felt that we're cool with you uh, taking these people the fuck out of here. Uh, but some people had a different sort of opinion. And right away, I'm like, hmm, that's fucking interesting. That's fucking interesting. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> so they say, hey, all the survivors from the Odin are male. Well, these goddamn space truckers are, are male. And one of them calls themselves Ramsey. Like they start giving him th- them info. Like, hey, mm. we want we want these guys gone. Make sure that Ramsey bitch is the f- gets the fuck out of here. And uh, they're not fugitives because they're not fugitives of this thing. So if you can catch them, take them away, or we don't want to have to go look for them. And so they're like, hey. And she explains again. We gave them hospitality. We 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 took them in, but they didn't want to. They basically they didn't want to follow orders. From a woman, basically. Like <laughs> once we once they figured out the rules, they were like, "No, we're fucking space truckers, and we don't take fucking orders from women." Uh, <laughs> goddamn ass! I went to space to escape this shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I left my kids and my fucking wife <laughs> to be free. I don't want my. <laughs> I left because I don't want my wife telling me what to do. Ball and shame with a battle axe on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Now you want me to wear fucking, uh, just have my chest exposed? Fuck you. Uh, I like to think that was the turning point. Like, they went along with everything until they showed them the shirt. Yeah, they're like, this is the shirt you have to wear. He's like, where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of the fabric? No, it's just, it's just. We need to see that one nip. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, fuck you. I didn't travel all these fucking light years (laughs) until, (laughs) you what kind of shirt i can and cannot wear fuck you we're out and they just fucking busted out of there uh and then you we were back to the bleep b plot and like wesley's sick and i'm like god damn it i hope he fucking dies dude yeah felt he's the same instantly about, like sick yeah. <laughs> I, I felt the same way the same way i felt when trump got sick is the same way i felt when wesley got sick <laughs> It's like, God damn it. I don't believe in a God, but I'm going to start praying. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. And, and so, God damn it, dude. Uh, we, we lost a few listeners there, I feel. No, um, it's fine. We don't need that. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Um, and then, and then, um, and then, uh, so you. Like, how, so, okay, just, just as an aside, how can you be a Trump supporter and also like Star Trek? I feel I like that's, know, that's incompatible. People, I, I know, I know. people get the wrong <laughs> message from stuff all the time. <laughs> Ever seen uh, Fight but Club? But it's not like Star Trek is like an American History X thing where it's like, oh, it makes white supremacy look cool. Like it's like literally the whole point of this episode is is gender equality. <laughs> Um, I, I, I had my friend, uh, not my friend. I'm sorry. I had, uh, my wife has a friend she was arguing with. This was a while Mm. ago when Trump Mm. first got elected Mm. and like mid presidency. And uh, this person is, uh, is a hardcore, like hardcore, like Trumper, like I can't explain enough that of how much she is (laughs) on that side. Yeah, And, and my wife said, and and also this person is a big nerd, loves Star Wars, loves all these things that kind of mm-hmm. kind of weirdly like if you if you really just put a little thought into it, you realize oh fuck oh fuck Trump is empire oh fuck yeah and, you know like, <laughs> you you quickly realize that and and my wife pointed that out and and her her response was like oh the the empire is pretty cool <laughs> and I'm like oh my god we're done we're done this <laughs> literally named stormtroopers they're kind of cool yeah they're not bad dude it's not a bad life to live Yo, we got we got um, whole like groups of people making their own little armors just to be part of that exclusive club yeah 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 they go um, out and do anyway, charities 
my god. Yeah. yeah. Everything's um, all crazy. But- I know, I know, dude. Um, but back to this. So, so we have uh, Doctor Crusher, and Doctor Crusher's like, I can't find a cure for this disease. Wesley's fucking sick, and people are getting. It looks like there's more and more. Oh yeah, uh, okay. More people this, getting sick. Um, we're running out of beds. This this like, makes me so angry because why is the future so bad at quarantining? Because it's like, like Crusher yep. immediately knows. This is an airborne virus, right? Mm-hmm. Picard asks him, "Hey, is it going to spread?" And she goes, "I hope not." <laughs> like, You're a fucking doctor. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just realized. I, I also just realized something else. Where it's like they, they mention that um, you know there's so many infected that they've turned the holodeck into a into a into a yeah. temporary sick bay. <laughs> That's what it means. Exactly. Oh God damn it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, fuck. Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what the yeah. fuck is happening? <laughs> Also, why does this ship is a gigantic starship with like probably a thousand people, right? Yeah. There's one doctor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Um. So remember how so, excited uh, Crusher got when Teabag the doctor was on board? It's like, oh, you're yeah, a doctor. She's like, oh my yeah. god, another doctor. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Another doctor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was a good episode. Teabag was awesome, dude. I want more teabag in this in this series. <laughs> um, some more teabagging. Yeah. yeah. And so and so you you have her going, I can't figure this thing out, man. Uh and, and she's <laughs> the only doctor that could figure it out. And so you have you have Wesley who we're all he 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 has me prayering it up. Just You're on the I edge of your seat, waiting yeah, to see what happens like, to this guy. Hopefully this is the episode where there's <laughs> sweet, sweet relief. Um and and <laughs> And no, no, and and so we go back to the to the to the mistresses down on on old Angel One, mm-hmm. and and they're like, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna let you guys. How are you guys? How do you guys plan to look for these goddamn fugitives, these trucker fugitives? And then <laughs> Riker's like, he whispers to Data, um, how um, how can um, <laughs> how can we figure this out? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm lost here, dude. I don't know. Uh, I have <laughs> no idea. Da- Data's like, well, we could like track something of theirs, like from the ship or like something that, that they had. And we could just use that. We use the enterprise to scan the planet and then it'll work out. And then so Riker's like, Hey, we need access to your, like the, the, the planet's library. <laughs> <laughs> and the and, planetary life yeah and 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 the mistress is like well our library is way too sophisticated for you men to figure out <laughs> and i'm like you fucking oh fuck dude you're just being difficult um yeah. and 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 data's like well i'm no man i'm a fucking android <laughs> and and he comes up and he's talking to her and, and <laughs> this this is one of my favorite fucking lines um, because she her argument is that it's it's too sophisticated sophisticated for any man to figure out right and data says I'm an android mistress and though atomically I'm a male <laughs> um you know I'm an android and and she looks at his crotch yeah. <laughs> she looks fucking down and she says an amusing notion and she looks back up and then looks back down and she keeps looking at his fucking dick dude. she's probably like he get he must get very hard yeah right? you know? but also but also it makes a lot of sense like hey we have these men that like sometimes misbehave we gotta backhand these guys if they weren't tiny <laughs> they'd, they'd fucking be fucking hitting us but what if we had androids then we could mm. fuck them and they would do what we say <laughs> And now, not fucking back talkers. They need their um, own it, Doctor Sung to create their yeah. own male sex spots. Oh, for sure. Mm. And then she said, and then she says, maybe you could teach our males a thing or two, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and then she says, Trent, see to this android's needs. And Data's <laughs> like, what the fuck? What does that I don't want to be pleasured by this tiny man. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> he didn't say that, but I feel like he said that with his eyes. Um, <laughs> and then they're. <laughs> Um, they um, they're they're back in the bridge, and old Worf is feeling like shit, and he's like, "Oh, I'm about to sneeze." Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Joe. And the Netflix <laughs> subtitles say "Klingon sneeze." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so you you start, slowly start to see that everyone's fucking getting sick, dude. Everyone's yeah. about to die, dude. <laughs> and the the captain's very sick, dude. Yeah. And you're like, oh god, Wesley. The first thing that happened to him, he lost his smell. It's definitely COVID. How many times has this captain got sick? 
Yeah, it is. I will say that um, this is the like the first time where Bever or where Crusher being like, I'm I'm putting you out of commission. Like, listen to me. And he actually listens this time. Well, cause she because he she actually um medical personnel are the only people that can order a captain to do something based on a medical emergency. Right. And she attempted yeah, this but, once and was yeah. turned down. It, it, yeah, well, but that's because he, he was possessed. possessed. He was possessed so he's by, not going to yeah. listen. Well, yeah, but, but yeah, yeah. But now that he's actually become, I'm just saying that this listen. this scenario has played out several times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so back back to the a plot. Uh, we have Riker. He comes back from from his meeting. Um, uh, Tasha is like, "Hey, they this was delivered for you for your meeting with uh, the Empress." Mm-hmm. And, he's, and then she's like, "You're not going to wear this thing, right? This fucking." <laughs> This gigolo oh. fucking attire, yeah, yeah. and and he's like, yeah, of course, I'm gonna fucking do it. Yeah, I have I've the I before. have the scene because it's it's a pretty fun uh, play, dude. This was delivered for you. Good, it's for my meeting with Beata. You're not going to wear that. Of course, part of this mission is diplomatic. I have requested an audience with the head of state, and I will honor her by wearing indigenous apparel. <laughs> I don't believe this. You're going to put that thing on and parade around like one of them? Tasha's well, so What is this attitude? Uh, on Kibatris, I had to wear furs to meet with the leadership council. And on Armist 9, I wore feathers. <sighs> this objection doesn't have anything to do with the fact that Beata is a woman and an attractive one, does it? It's a yeah. I mean, his his reaction is completely reasonable. Yeah, it is. He's like, I'm just trying to be diplomatic, <laughs> and then, I don't know why they are being so weird about it. They should just be like, all right, when in Rome. Yeah, usually yeah, Deanna's yeah. the one to have that opinion. I would think. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel like it's because they're trying to imply she's jealous, but she had, she wasn't jealous before. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> so and it's not the, like they, they the sex and they don't play yeah. that jealousy angle consistently throughout the episode either. Because no, like no. when he shows up in yeah. there, like when he comes out in it, they they just have a laugh. Yeah, and, and they like, also uh, comment on how sexy he looks, yeah, like yeah. to his face. Yeah, Tasha has like a wistful smile and goes, "Oh." It is very yeah. Sexy. She keeps looking him up and down, like over and over again, just like Beata did to, to Data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <clears throat> back to the back to the a plot line, and uh, the doctor scanning the 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 captain. And she's like, "You're fucking sick, dude. You're sick. You got to lay down. You got to get some rest, dude." And he's like, "Nah, nonsense. Um, number one's gone. The Romulans. <clears throat> yeah, the Romulans. We can't forget about the Romulans. That shitty fucking plot line. We haven't even seen a a, a picture of them." No, no, or like it's, you haven't even shown us a scan of them on the yeah, fucking monitor. This is, this is classic tell, not show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, um, so he's like, and she, the doctor orders the captain to like get some rest. And he's like, fine, if it's an order, I'm going to do it because I, 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 I have banged you or I will bang you. In the future. <laughs> I don't know. I'm too sick to remember. I do love and how so angry he, Picard sounds in yeah. that whole scene. Ah. It's like, I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and so as, he, as he's walking to his quarters, uh, I guess he was in his office, but now he's going to is his quarters. I don't know. It's uh, it's a ready ge- room. So the ready room. Yeah, I know you explain room, this, but yeah, uh, look, I, I'm ready to to just have one room. Why why two fucking rooms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just make it and give him one big ass room, and he doesn't have, to have two rooms. <laughs> So many goddamn rooms. So, ready rooms is it's, it's like it's like your work. It's like his office. And then, whereas uh, his bedroom is just his work from home bedroom. That's all. Oh my god! Too place. many rooms, dude. I, I'm, I can't. I can't agree to this. And so, so as he's going to his room, he's like, he's like, "Hey, Jordy, you're fucking in charge, my man. You, the man who can't see, is in charge of everything." And he's like, "Okay, got it." And then uh, old Worf is like, uh, "Worf, uh, well, first of all, Jordy goes and sits in the captain's chair." Yeah, like, it's oh, a yeah. weirdly big moment. Yeah, yeah like yeah. the the music swells, the camera zooms in on it. Like I, I also brought it up as a clip because I, I found it really interesting. For Captain Ford, you have command until further notice. Please make the proper ship's log entries. Aye, sir. And this is him just walking over to the chair, slowly sitting down in it. Scanners indicate a platinum trace. Should I notify the away team? Make it so. <laughs> yeah, he steals his line too. Yeah. And it's like, I, I, I'm not sure why it's such a huge moment. I, is it because well, I, I looked this up because I wasn't sure if it was the case, but no one 
I think pointed it out specifically. Is it because he's the first black person to sit in the captain's chair? Like ever? Could be. Could be. That's, what I, a moment? that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought. And it seems like they make it, make it, that seems like to be the subtext. Because it's later when uh, something's going on with something in engineering and they call for Jordy to go in. Worf goes, no, Jordy, you're in charge now. Other people can do this for you. And to me, that read almost as like, hey, you know, I'm black, you're black. I'm looking out for you. And you should stay in charge, you know, like assert your authority. And he's like, thanks, War, for the advice, you know, looking out for me. That's the subtext I got from that. I think I'm not sure if that's the case because I couldn't find any evidence of that officially. I mean, that is, but I can't, uh, that would be fairly meta, but it, I, I could see that happening. Yeah. Cause I can't find any like official documentation. I didn't, granted, I didn't look that closely, but I, I couldn't find any like real documentation on that moment. And as far as I could tell, the only other person that I think could have been black and, t uh, uh, took helm of the enterprise was Uhura, but I don't think she ever did. I think Uhura was too tertiary a character to ever, um, take command, but, but Jordy did here and he seemed to be doing fine. And I don't know. It was just like an interesting moment where they made it such a, like a, like a thing. The music swells, the camera zooms in and he even says the iconic make it so line. It's like really interesting. Uh, and like, he even has a little smile when he says it. It's like, it's almost like some sort of weird wink to the audience. And I'm, I, I, that's the only subtext I could think of, at least from my modern perspective. But I don't know if it was meant to be something different back in the day. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that hard as it happened. Like I, I was I was watching it like w kind of without subtext in mind. It, it still plays well as a scene, like if that isn't in your mind, because like Worf's advice is sound. It's like he put you in command. Don't don't go running away. Like you have, right. you're in charge. You have to you have to act like you're the guy in charge now. So that's completely yeah, sensible, but yeah, but because because I, I but the thing is, I never in the context of the show ever make it seem like Worf and Jordy are bros. Like they don't really hang out or anything. They're well, bros. Worf man. was the only one left <laughs> to say anything. Yeah, that's true. And he yeah. was also they, they on the way out the, too. He, he, of the main cast. Yeah, he, yeah, he was like true, he was yeah. reporting to Sick Bay on his own. He was like, "I'm out of here." But one last piece of advice: don't leave command. Yeah, even though eventually he'll kind of have to and yeah <laughs> yeah punctuated by klingon sneeze <laughs> ah, yeah. Joe. yeah add that um, reverb mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so so you have you have uh back to back to the the angel one and uh, there's a scene this next scene deanna troy is hanging out by the hallway clearly mm -hmm. watching Riker change so he's seeing <laughs> He's seeing his number one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh and and he she whispers, Dush, Dush. <laughs> and and she, she she looks at she, and then out comes Riker wearing that fucking sexy ass, like futuristic gigolo fucking. Now, he's a ski shelly <laughs> concubine. Yeah. Even with and, the ear thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then Tasha gets up and and, and she's like, hey. I think it's kind of fucking sexy, dude. But almost <laughs> laughing at him. And Riker has a lot of chest hair. He, he, he yeah, that's he's, the thing that changed that that's what separates him from all the rest of the concubines. That might that, be why they find him super attractive, because yeah. he's super hairy. Yeah. yeah, they're like and immediately he show so he shows up to uh well, first of all, he 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 takes a compliment from from Tasha and he's like, Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant. And uh and it was really cool. Because he didn't say like, well, like fuck you, dude. Uh, he <laughs> took it, and then he he goes and meets a mistress, and he's like, hey, and she's like, hey, you look fucking handsome, and he's like, <laughs> thank you, I fucking know. Um, and anyway, <laughs> anyway, he's like, hey, the the they 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 scan the planet, and they think they found the survivors, and she's like, oh, I'm impressed. But when she says I'm impressed, she's looking down at his crotch again. Yeah. And it, but this is a this is a crazy scene because like watching it, I, I rewounded it. Is that <laughs> rewounded it? that word i think rewound a uh, little rewind, i guess so uh, rewound and, uh I, I i i hit rewind on the old netflix and <laughs> in the same scene it's 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 tricky because you have two actions going on one is she says i'm i'm impressed and mm -hmm. the other girl the second command says i'm suspicious but so like one of them the mistress looks down at his crotch and mm -hmm. then the the other the second command looks really fucking worried and like mm -hmm. now watching it a second time I was like, oh, yeah, she's worried because she was fucking that other dude. She was fucking a trucker. Yeah, it's Deadly good trucker. foreshadowing of what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a great, great scene there. And it's funny because uh, the concubine behind them looks really tall, but then they stand up and they they just fucking 
they're giants over him. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's, he looks really tiny behind them. And then so, so, sh- so they're like, okay, so send your people to go look for them. And, and the second in command, it, you could tell like she's against this plan all along. She's like, nah, I don't want these. I don't want you taking them. I don't want you looking for them. I don't like you. Fuck you. Uh, that's the <laughs> attitude she's giving. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, okay, so, uh, so she leaves and the concubine leaves and it's all that's left is the old mistress and Riker. Mm. and she's like and then he's like all right so my team's gonna go look for these survivors and then i'll well i'll, I'll go with them and i'll come back and she's like hey what do you what what do you think you they, they're they're not capable of, of doing their own work they need you and then and then he, and then he's like no no they're, uh, they're capable and he's like hey let them, let them do their thing and let's see uh let's see what we do you know what i mean and she <laughs> winks uh, internally uh not not an actual actual life yeah. uh and and uh and she's like hey let's chill out here let's uh let's get comfortable and, and we just gotta talk let's talk my bedroom is in my office yeah yeah she's like <laughs> hey, my, my ready room is over here if you know what i mean more like a and I'm ready. room yeah and, and old old an old fucking Riker takes out his, his communicator, which I don't know where he had. He keystered it somewhere. And he's just um, holding it in his hand the whole time. Just I guess case. so. And he's like, hey, Yar, you fucking go out there and figure this out. Find these survivors. <laughs> find these truckers. And then and, and then Yar, 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 uh, Yar is like, what the fuck, Commander? Are, are you all right? Fuck it. I guess you're right. Like, she's like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, but she knows deep down. She knows. He's, he's got a he's got that a duty. Riker. He's got a duty to please that booty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh and so they, they they all go out so like troy yara and data are like all right we're gonna go look for these people bring them back find this ramesses dude and so they get they get teleported to the to the coordinates of where they found this what is it platinum that the, the, yeah they're just they're looking, looking, looking for, for platinum yeah, it's the old, yeah. The platinum doesn't exist in the planet yeah. otherwise so. and old uh what's his what's his jerk's name um, Ramsey. Ramsey. He's like, hey, I was expecting you guys. But it's what weird because it's like, well, how did you, were you expecting us? Yeah. That's and weird. The, Why did you say the, that? Why would you yeah, say that? There's a weird <laughs> shot. The, this shot where they appear uh, at, at like Ramsey's, Ram, Ramsey's camp. Uh-huh. It's really weird because like the shot is like, it's hard to describe. So like, okay, so it's like, it's a shot and it should be all three of them. Like uh-huh. getting teleported. Yeah, in. but it's like a crotch. Shot. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a crotch shot of Yara. It's really. Yeah, I don't weird, know why dude. they did that. Yeah. yeah, um, it's really weird. And and she's not so like so both Data and Deanna Troy are facing like facing left, like stage mm-hmm. left. But Deanna Troy is looking straight into the camera, like her crotch <laughs> is like fucking hitting us <laughs> right in the lens, dude. Yeah. And then uh, they 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 point their phasers at old Ramsey. And he's like, "Hey, welcome. Um, you know, I was expecting you." And then we we flash back. Also, sorry, sorry. One thing with that tele the, the teleporting shot I notice is that obviously the crotch shot, but also both both Data and and Tasha immediately pull out phasers to protect themselves. Yeah, and Troy just stands there. <laughs> I know, so, I know. So she came there unarmed. I know, for dude. no reason. God damn it, dude. Why was she? <laughs> and so they, um, they they go and they're uh, we go back to to the old bridge, mm. and the captain's fucking sick of shit, dude. He's like, yeah. oh, fuck. Shirt, shirtless now. He's, He's also shirtless. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. He takes off his shirt because he's so goddamn hot. Also, and then, also hairy. Yeah, and also very hairy. And and uh, he tells he tells uh, Jordy tells Worf, "Hey, you look you don't look so hot, dude. You're sneezing up a storm. You're gonna break the goddamn screen with one of your sneezes. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, dude. Go go get treated." And so basically, as Worf is walking out, he's like, "Hey, you're basically the last dude to like be here. Like, so stay healthy, stay." Stay strong, my man. Uh, and Worf looks like shit. He's like, oh, I got a stuffy head and fever. Uh, <laughs> Joe! <laughs> <laughs> and then back on the planet, they're like, they're talking to Ramesses, and, and he's like, how did you find me? He's like, I have a palladium, fucker. I'm smart. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, my wings. Um, and these guys are goddamn truckers, dude. You, you I, I was joking around earlier, but you find out that these are genuine fucking truckers, dude. And they got mullets, mullets and all, dude. They, yeah, they're, yeah. They've, they're, they're rocking them. He's got MacGyver and, hair. Yeah, he does. He does. He's totally I, MacGyver. For a while, hair. I thought it was MacGyver. A yeah. little yeah. bit. From a distance, or, you would think it's a MacGyver. Yeah. Or Randy Travis. Like, <laughs> it was either either one. Um, 
and he's like he's they're basically like we're here to take you guys we're gonna re- we're here to rescue you guys <laughs> and they're like well you can't rescue a man from a place he calls his fucking home we don't want to go dun, we just want to be left dun. alone we don't want to take orders from that bitch and we don't want to go with you dick faces so get out of here dude scram um <laughs> so basically they're like oh well, we're fucked because we can't they're in a weird place because they can't really make them go and so like they're like well we're fucked because we promised this other lady this fucking seducer uh mm. that we were going to take them but they don't want to go there's well, what can we do uh we can't force them all right let's get the fuck out of here and at this point old fucking temptress or what's her name uh the the <laughs> empress sorry uh, she's she's yeah she's giving fucking she's giving record fucking wine and fucking she's really laying it on thick dude mm-hmm. um a lot of a lot of innuendo, a lot of double talk, and um, yeah. look, they don't show it, but they fucked, right? Oh, yeah. The the, the implication is that they they are fucking. Okay, they okay. Just, they just, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're kissing and like, and then the 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 page, whatever you call him, the the boy man, <laughs> yeah, uh, the manservant, hey, the manservant. Uh, he brings in. Yeah, Trent brings in um the, the Enterprise's gift to the mistress, yeah. which is like this weird like nightlight. Yep, <laughs> and, and 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 Trent kind of looks jealous. He's like, "Oh man, look at all the chess hair that guy yeah. has. Yeah, it's pretty so tall. Got chess hair, man. I wish I was him. Um, deep blue eyes. Yeah, look at those eyes. Look at those sideburns. Mm-hmm. God damn it, look <laughs> at that hair. And yeah. so so uh, Riker turns on turns on this little nightlight and. Also turns on this lady, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and so they're they're making out and they're fucking they're they're heating up the the old bedroom, the old ready room. Uh, <laughs> and so basically, like the uh, we go back to old fucking Tricker Alley, and they're like, look, uh, like I said, we're not going anywhere. We're staying here. Well, we like it here. It's fucking nice as shit. It's uh, it's good weather. Uh, we don't want to go with you. It's and good like, weather. Right. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> so they're out. Climate. Weather's nice. We don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and then um at this point uh, at the en- on the Enterprise everyone's fucking sick. There's no more beds to put people in. People are like seem there's no deaths yet, but everyone looks like shit, dude. Everyone looks like it looks like now. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It looks like everyone's got looks fucking like Los COVID. Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. But everything's you know cleaner, um, and so so they basically Jordy is the only one left because everyone's fucking gone, runs sick, yeah. And he, she's basically like, I can't, I, I can't figure this out. The people are really sick. We we ran out of beds, and Jordy's like, Well, keep trying, keep figuring it out. And um, so they uh, the the ground the away team they they fucking leave the, the truckers, and you quickly find out that the second in command. Uh, mm-hmm. the mistress second command is is like the lover of one of the mm-hmm. truckers. They're fucking lovers. They're fucking banging, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's why that that dude doesn't want to leave. He's got a side piece over here. He, plus, he doesn't want to go back to his fucking wife back on Earth. <laughs> who he fucking left. Um, already, he's already committed to that leaving. He can't yeah, just go yeah. back now. Yeah. after all these years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> his kid's gonna resent him, you know, for not being around, and yeah. it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> and at this point, uh, the the uh, so Tasha. Diana and Data come back uh, right as as you know Riker just finished fucking this lady uh, or pleasuring her pleasuring her and I don't want to be <laughs> crude he just finished pleasuring her she seems she seems pretty happy and then they come in and she's re- pretty really pissed and she's like all right uh, so what's happening you guys are taking these dudes and she and they're like no they don't want to leave and she's like ah oh, fine well thank you for finding them now we're gonna fucking execute them. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like why she's like well i can't have these fucking animals these goddamn truckers running around and defying my orders and and you know i'm just gonna let them live we're gonna we're gonna kill yeah. and so they're like oh fuck this is a this is a weird conundrum and then back on the on the enterprise the doctor the, uh, by the way she's the only doctor uh, on the enterprise and she's like well I better help the fucking captain. She's trying to give him some weird ass smelly fucking tea. And uh, (laughs) he's shirtless and he's sweating up a storm. And I don't know how she's not sick. How is she not sick? There's no explanation. (laughs) Yeah. And she's got no PP on. She's yeah, just yeah, wandering no. around yeah. from patient to patient yeah. going, just touching how are people everybody. getting sick? Yeah. If it's, it reminds me of the, the ignorance people had during the black plague. They're like, how are people getting sick? I don't understand. It's like the same type of like lack of 
coverage. Like, I don't know why there she's so flippant about it. Like, I know, dude. This, she, this is. Uh, I don't. She should have died a long time <laughs> from this from this disease. This exposure to yeah, all, yeah. The, not just this disease, but diseases in general. They never have any protection. I know, dude. She, she, she should be fucking dead a long time ago. Yeah. So she's she's like, uh, why are you wearing cologne? You're fucking dying. And she's like, I'm not, he's like, I'm not wearing cologne. You're wearing cologne. And, <laughs> and then she figures out like, oh, that's how it gets transmitted. And fucking Luke Picard is all hallucinating and she leaves and he's still talking to her. <laughs> the explanation given uh, like for the mechanic of that scent is like really weird though. It's like, oh, yeah. it smells sweet to make you inhale more. I go, oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to paraphrase all this because it, 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 there's a lot of bullshit like, <laughs> filler dialogue in this shit but basically what it turns out to is that they're gonna execute these people and like Riker's trying to make a case for them not to execute them well they like, found them because not because the the, the 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 enterprise told them where they were yeah they found them because they follow the lady the, the second the, command lady yeah the, the and and so they're like well we're gonna execute them tomorrow and <sighs> they're in a really the 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 way crew is in a really tight spot like they have to not only like they do they know about this this fucking virus up there but like they got the romulans to deal with and yeah. all this bullshit anyway uh they send data up because they're like well he can't get it he can he can be up there and he'll be fine he'll command the the enterprise to rendezvous with the romulans and then kind of as a show of force uh you know just basically uh, he's gonna be in charge up there yeah and he explains. Do you, do you have this clip by any chance where he explains everything to to Riker? Oh no, I don't. I don't have okay. that clip. But basically, and, he's just <clears throat> being like he just finds a loophole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's like basically you have forty eight minutes to figure out the things down there, prevent an, <laughs> prevent a fucking execution, come back up here. The doctor's got forty eight minutes to figure out a fucking inoculation <laughs> and save everybody, and then we can get the fucking Romulans. Yeah. And you know, there's a really. There's a real ticking time bomb now. Yeah. And so they, they're like, all right, well, well, let's go to this execution. So they go to the, ex- the execution and basically they, they evaporate people or something. It's really yeah. weird how they do it. This execution room is so cramped. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like a so tiny little, so, yeah, many it's, it's so many people in yeah. a tiny little set. Yeah. Why couldn't they, they already have set a precedent for filming things outside when there's a lot of people. Yeah. Like, why don't, yeah. they, why don't they just do that? <laughs> It seems like and, outside's also a good place for an execution. I guess I don't know. What you- and and then Riker says, "Look, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make a, a case for, for letting them live." And then he makes a case for making yeah. letting them live. <laughs> yeah, Just, he it also goes, "We can't do anything about this. This yeah, is a viol- yeah. That would be a violation of the prime yeah. directive." Yeah, and immediately makes a speech intervening. Yeah, and thus violating the prime directive. Which basically he's like, he's like, "Look, these people aren't starting a revolution. They're starting. They're like evolving. Like so, everybody's not re- the same." <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so like, and then you're you're making them martyrs by killing them. So, like, why are you doing that? That seems stupid. And I don't like this part. Like, I'm I'm good with the whole episode. I like this planet. It's fine. I'm fine with it. I like it. I like what they're trying to say. But then, fucking, he mansplains things to her, and it just fucking <laughs> it like it defeats the whole purpose. Yeah, I, it could have been a speech done by Deanna. She had nothing to do yes, with the episode, yeah. so you yes. might as well have had her do something. Yes, <laughs> and and like it could have been like, oh, a woman helped another woman figure this problem instead of like, yeah. oh, look, the man mansplains things they, to her. They, the reason they brought her is for her to be in charge yep. of the away team because she's a woman. Yeah, and that got thrown away instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As soon as Regular started fucking people he yeah. they, they throw it out no, she has nothing to do yeah. literally fun like. fact this show was created in the late 80s <laughs> <laughs> i guess you're right um and then so he he pleads for them and then they go off and think about it and they come back and they're like fine we'll let them live but we're gonna put them in a remote place of their of this planet so they don't yeah. fucking bother us <laughs> fuck them yeah it's gonna be difficult to live yeah. there <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna basically do what we, what twentieth century humans did to Napoleon. Just exile him to an island. Yeah. And then fuck it. Yeah. You know. All they have is a gruel. Um, <laughs> and at this point, uh, old fucking Beverly, uh, not, yes, Beverly Crusher figures out the fucking inoculation. He, she inoculates everybody else. And then as soon as they, the awake group comes back, she inoculates them. Mm-hmm. And then at this point, uh, old fucking Picard's feeling a little better, but he's still got a sore throat. 
and he can't say engage. And it's yeah. a funny <laughs> moment that we all laugh because Riker's got to go, say it for him. Womp, 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 womp. And guess what? They make their way in time to stop the Romulans who we never fucking see. Yeah. <laughs> who we never fucking. Apparently, yeah. The, the, apparently, the only thing they need to do is show up and that'll yeah. scare the Romulans enough and they'll just leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, um, isn't it like, isn't the conceit that like Romulans are currently on some sort of like a uh, ceasefire treaty or something and like they can't. It's get, the neutral yeah. zone. So they're not allowed to cause acts of aggression in the neutral zone. So, you know, but they're Romulans. So, the so idea I guess, the I guess the goes, point hey, was hey. to just show up and be a visible deterrent. Yeah. Just be like, hey, like a mall cop. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're Paul Blart. Yeah. The USS Paul <laughs> Blart. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch ass fucking Romulans. Oh, man. Paul Blart just shows up on that segue <laughs> and just like, hey, fuck off Romulans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I'm watching you doing that finger thing with the eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um so I don't know. I, I so like <laughs> I, I really like this episode cuz it had some interesting things to say and I like the sexy planet. I like a lot of things of it. But then they really ranked down with the whole fucking like Deanna not doing it at the end, at the end. It it I get it. It was made in the 80s. It's I'm fine. I get it, but if they had gone if they had gone this far to explain this interesting like storyline like Let's go a little bit further. Uh, it yeah. is it is legitimately baffling. I yeah. mean, like like I think I think a lot of these make sense in uh, retrospect, but like a lot of these, it doesn't seem like it. But like these episodes, especially for the first season, are like rewritten like crazy. Like they, if you if you go through like what the original episodes were supposed to be like, like the scripts, and then you look at what the final product is, it's like so crazy different almost for every episode that they're probably just evolving the script as they go and they go, okay, that's it. We got to shoot. And then, yeah, no, I, <laughs> and then I they can, start shooting. I can believe that. So easily. there's a lot of probably like details like that where they're probably just like, ah, I, we got to shoot this. The network is looking to see what, if we're shooting today or not. And that's probably just, it's a lot of the, con- especially for this first season, there's a lot, a lot of the conceit is that, you know, they're going through the growing pains of trying to set up, uh, like a regular shooting schedule and figuring out how that works and getting into the groove of what Star Trek TNG should be like. And you know, it's yeah, yeah. it's not, it's not much of an excuse. It's just, <laughs> I, I guess if I was going to rate it, I would go with, I, I liked it better than, than, than the last episode. The day to um, Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it was, it was fun. It was sexy. It was funny at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, they always fuck up one of the storylines. And and Wesley didn't die in this episode, so I was very upset. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to get a um, seven and a half. Yeah. What about you, Dan? I think I'm in the seven range with this one. Yeah, I'll give it a seven too. It's pretty average, honestly, when it comes down to it. Because I think it's just. I'm going to I'm gonna put in uh, one of my characteristic, hey, this person looks like tags. But uh, <laughs> Briata kept on reminding me of Blossom. What? I can see that. I can see Blossom that. Blossom from Powerpuff Girls. No, the there used to be a, a like a sitcom <laughs> named Blossom. Yeah, me- meow. It's and where Blossom. it's where meow the and... whoa Joey came from. Yeah. Oh, the I famous whoa. All of that's lost on. That is all her, lost I on her me. Name. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> the 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 girl on it is was on the Big Bang Theory for a while. Oh, you're right. That was yeah. her, wasn't it? Also, again, completely lost on me. I don't. Oh know my god, about. you're just a hater. <laughs> um, okay, then then here here here's a Simpsons reference. It's Lisa, and she's dressed like Blossom. Okay, is that what that was supposed to reference? Oh man, completely passed you by, huh? <laughs> It's all right. I just, I, it's I all figured, right that you don't that you aren't familiar reference. with the cultural touchstone known as Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> Maya Bialik is her name. Maya Bialik. Oh yeah, Mayim that's Mayim true. Bialik. Okay. Yeah, okay. she had a weird, okay. weird okay. kind of uncommon name. Shouldn't say weird. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's insensitive. Yeah. No, it's fucking weird. <laughs> uh, Angel One. That was Angel One, which is Angel. leads right into what the title of our next episode is going to be, which is one one zero zero one zero zero one. Perfect. Uh, Jenny one one zero one one zero one. Well, we'll which probably is, uh, find out what that means in binary next week. 
Yeah, it's a. I actually kind of hate this episode, but we'll we'll see what everyone else thinks when they watch this episode. But anyway, if you guys have been enjoying the podcast so far, this is Newbie Star Trek. You can find more episodes of that on newbiestartrek.com. That's n e w b i e star trek dot com, or you can search for the Star the Star Trek Newbie Star Trek podcast on anywhere you can find podcasts apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify etc if you go to apple Podcasts, it'd be cool if you could give us a review that'd be cool yeah. and then on the our other podcast the one where you talk about movies and shit uh it's the fugitive frames film podcast um i we talked about it in the last episode but ricardo should probably around this point maybe i already have the episode out where it's a beautiful episode it yeah, great. It was, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be the the, the, the Hallmark Christmas episodes. Yeah, Christmas movies. Beautiful. You should be into it. It's, it's gonna, gonna be great. Be, it's gonna be beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, you know, is a you could check that out wherever you find podcasts. Or for you, just look for a Fugitive Frames Film Podcast, or you can go to fugitiveframes dot com. Uh, right now that goes straight to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, eventually Ricardo's going to turn that into like a hub for like almost well, everything. We're yeah. Doing, we're going to, so. we're going to figure out what's the easiest way to give you access to like everything. So you only go to one place and you could get access to everything. Like yeah, the Instagram, all that bullshit, dude. Yeah. But we'll figure that out, dude. We'll, we'll figure, figure that out. out. We'll yeah. figure it out. But uh, um, and also, sorry, yes. go ahead. Go ahead. I was, I was going to say, Hey, 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 do you? Like video games? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Are you a video game lover? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got something for you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really into video games. Is then you might t- like Fugitive Games. <gasps> oh Boom. God. What did you think I was going to say? Fugitive <laughs> music? No, dude. You were wrong. <laughs> oh, we would have been a fool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Fugitive Games is our YouTube channel. You can find it at Fugitive.Games or you can search for Fugitive Games on YouTube. Basically, we do Let's Plays. In the new year, um, Dan and I are going to actually start doing and trying to get into streaming, um, which is going to be interesting because uh, I'm trying to basically use the streaming idea for games that wouldn't make good LPs because LPs, you know, usually you want them paced a certain way. So like I might play stuff like uh, more New Vegas or um like other rpgs and shit like that and i think dan wants to play like judgment and stuff like that right yeah like basically anything that would normally end up taking like a a half a year in normal lp upload scheduling like i I want to avoid getting stuck with a game that just drags out forever because we we parse you know parcel it out like that so well, also so that each episode, because because certain types of like we learned this quickly with New Vegas, is like when you when you cut that up, it just feel like that's not a game that deserves to be cut up almost, you know, because like it's such a, like a slow build game that when you cut it up, it feels a bit weird. Um, so I I think that'll be a better venue yeah. for that. We're also eventually going to get more into like uh, editorial content. Like right now, we have some reviews and discussions up, but that's like more free form. It's barely edited. Um, but I think we're gonna. Coming up as part of this, the streaming is going to be part of getting material uh, for those editorial pieces. But basically, we're going to like just like video essays and stuff like that. But we'll see what's coming down the pipeline. Also, Marcel and Ricardo on their channel. Uh, Marcel's our other friend. And uh, there's some other stuff coming down the pipeline. Like uh, they still need to, uh, we're going to need to put out um, Sea of Thieves Part 2. It's coming up. More Man yeah. of Dan. I heard there, Marcel did like a mini review of Cyberpunk. Right, twenty seventy seven. Yeah, so dude, spoiler alert: you could design your own fucking dick. I heard that there <laughs> were like sure. two choices. Yeah, look, a little spoiler on the review. I'm really upset at them because you can pick a vagina, you can pick a penis, but you can't pick both. Mm. <laughs> I'm very upset, mm. dude. I'm very. I mean, why? Yeah, upset. why not? Right? Why not yeah. experience the best of both worlds? You know, that's, Boom! That's, that's, that's what shame. I said, dude. That's, that's what shame. I said. That's a shame. Um, but anyway, they'll be coming up. They'll be coming up. <laughs> We're going to be talking about junk and mm-hmm. <laughs> pubic hair on that fucking review. Yeah. Is it just a review also, of the character uh, creator? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That'd actually be really funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. just Oh, that's like a good segment we could potentially do character creator reviews. And all we do is look at character creators of video games and see yeah. how they we should check anyway, and make sure Wooly didn't already do that. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem like he did for my even then, fuck it. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll look at it. anyway. Also, there's a this is a minor self plug just because of the the timing. Exactly a week from out of this when this podcast is gonna be published, uh, which is Tuesday, January 5th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, a movie I made called A Night's Tour 
It's going to be premiering for streaming on a YouTube channel called Kings of Horror. Uh, premiering meaning that it's going to be live streamed. And uh, I th at, at least for the moment, uh, me and Sarah, who's my partner and also producer of the movie, are going to be in the chat chatting with people as uh, the movie's live, live premiering. I think we might get Darnell and uh, Darnell and Joseph too. Uh, actors who, from the film, the actors in the film, yeah, actors from the film. But basically, it's 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 on. It's called a night's tour. It's going to be on a channel, a YouTube channel called Kings of Horror. Um, if I get the link to it in time, I might put it in the description. But in, a, in either case, uh, what's what's happening is that even though the channel's called Kings of Horror, the movie's not really a horror movie at all. It's more of like a thriller, um, kind of a slow burn thriller. But you know, it's just the way these things are marketed. They put it on that channel, and uh. Yeah, if you want to watch a movie that I made with some people and, you know, chat about it, you know, I'm, I'm sure like half the chat's probably going to be like, this is not a horror movie. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to if you want to check that out, that'll be uh, live streaming on uh, January 5th at 6 p.m. Pacific a night's tour. Now, is that on um, YouTube? So that'll be on a YouTube channel. Okay. Yes. Uh, Kings of Horror. Um, It's interesting. Like a lot of... um. A lot of modern, like more indie streaming stuff is, is like it, it like you can also find a night's tour on like uh, like Google Play and iTunes and, you know, Amazon and all these different places as normal. Right. But uh, a lot of uh, more indie stuff is going to these YouTube channels to like do like limited streaming sessions, which is really mm, interesting. That is interesting. Uh, at least that's what our publishers. Do. And uh, just Apparently, just to be clear, this stream on Kings of Horror would be a free stream. It's free. Yeah, it's on free. Hey, on YouTube. how so about just, that? Um, you could watch Marvin's movie yeah, for free, to... everybody. Yeah, it's also free on Tubi. So. <laughs> If you want to watch it for free hey, there, you hey, can also. to be or not to be? <laughs> that is the question. I think you say that every time I bring up yeah, Tubi. Dude. How do you spell Tubi? <laughs> uh, T-U-B-I. Yeah, T yeah, 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 yeah. 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 To be. Yeah. To be or not. You can't, you can't say it, dude. You can't say it. <laughs> you it, it, just, me, it, it rolls out of the tongue, dude. Yeah, fuck it me. rolls. Fuck it's a legitimate me. question. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's so funny that people like a lot of like uh, like bullshit Shakespeare quoting is like, oh, we're gonna do a romantic scene where someone serenades someone saying to be or not to be, but that's a that's a a, a soliloquy about uh, suicide. Yeah, I'll yeah. be honest, so I don't often see. I personally haven't seen many people go straight to that quote for romance. Yeah, well, I guess it is like uh, not necessarily romance. Sorry, that's a weird context, but more of like, like if, if the, you want romance, like the, they go the Romeo, Romeo, wherefore like, out the Romeo. Right, but yeah. it's like one of the things they always quote of Shakespeare. Uh, it's like probably the most common thing I've heard quoted. Oh well, yeah, it's a popular quote for romantic, sure. But... I quote, yeah, yeah. But sometimes I see it in like a, a context where it's really not appropriate because it's about suicide. So. <laughs> Uh, it's anyway, contemplating uh, a night's tour, a movie that's not about suicide. I want to, uh, if anybody from Paramount Pictures is listening to this podcast, I want to pitch you my idea for like a side movie in the Star Trek universe. <laughs> it's basically Magic Mike, uh, but it's in space. <laughs> that's it. I'd that's like all. to write it. I like that's to direct right. it. There's no other. Well, the, there's no, we've already seen concept. so many sexy yeah. ass planets that it's it's a crime yes, that this exactly. doesn't already exist. You, it could be a series, dude. It could be a series could, where look, we check out different sexy planets and see how these okay. sexy planets are, you know? Okay. I'm I'm you know? with you there. I'm not hating this idea. Yeah, like, oh, this is like the furry sexy planet. Oh, this one's okay. like all like all women, but they're like gigantic hmm. like twenty feet like tall. We are here aboard okay. the USS unzipped flies. <laughs> <laughs> oh this one's I'm not like, hating this this one's like all magical creatures or something you know this one's all like dudes but you know they're into it you know yeah, yeah you're yeah, getting yeah. dangerously okay, close okay. to just describing as an anime series oh am i <laughs> yeah okay well don't let's get, just do that too but close. Star Trek. yeah, yeah. basically <laughs> it's an anime magic mike series coming at you <laughs> on tubi Look for it in on 2022. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be made very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very quickly. Yeah. I'm drawing it right now. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Dan Dan is furiously uh drawing it. Uh, <laughs> uh the, the the next episode we're going to cover on the podcast is going to be 11001001 uh which is an annoying episode about annoying aliens. There's uh, also holodeck shenanigans. We'll, we'll, oh god, the it's not as bad as being given a virus that kills everyone. <laughs> 
but it's it's really weird. And I guess it does bring up more moral quandaries about the holodeck. Yeah, it's so a continued that's, exploration of the good. yeah of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just it caused a virus. It's like, oh, here, let's talk about nature of a person, et cetera. Anyway, that will be next episode. But until then, everybody stay safe. We'll see you next time. Have a good night. Be cool. Bagul. I knew you were going to say Bagul. <laughs> yeah, dude. Be cool about Bagul safety. Be cool about Bagul safety. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>